Hi Aquarius and welcome to Intimate Goddess Tarot and my name is uh, Inez and today I'll be doing your weekly love reading. Please keep in mind that these are general love readings so I cannot or will not resonate with all of you. So if it doesn't apply then let it fly. If it does apply, then I would love to read your comments down below. Also, if you would like to get a personal reading, you can contact me at IntimateGoddessTarot at gmail.com. Okay, so let's get your reading started. Hopefully, you guys had a good week and having a good week. Uh, let's see. Aquarius. Please tell me about Aquarius in love from March 8th to the 14th. 2020. Please tell me about Aquarius in love from March 8th to the 14th, 2020. Please tell me about Aquarius in love from March 8th to the 14th, 2020. Please tell me about Aquarius in love from March 8th to the 14th, 2020. Let's see here. Please tell me about Aquarius. Please tell me about Aquarius in love. Aquarius. March 8th to the 14th, 2020. Please tell me about Aquarius in love from March 8th to the 14th, 2020. Please tell me about Aquarius in love from March 8th to the 14th, 2020. Please tell me about Aquarius in love from March 8th to the 14th, 2020. Please tell me about Aquarius in love from March 8th to the 14th, 2020. Please tell me about Aquarius in love from March 8th to the 14th, 2020. Please tell me, okay. Please tell me about Aquarius in love from March 8th to the 14th, 2020. Please tell me about Aquarius in love from March 8th to the 14th, 2020. Okay, Aquarius. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Empress. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, so we have the High Priestess and the Knight of Cups. And we have the Two of Wands and the Wheel. And the Nine of Swords and the Hierophant. So some of you guys could be dealing with a Taurus or a Pisces or a Water Sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a Fire, Sag, Leo, Aries, or another Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You guys could be dealing with any of those signs. You could technically be dealing with anybody, okay? Anybody. So, it looks like here that you guys may be either... There's someone here that could be very spiritual, uh, or they could be intuitive, such as myself. They could be a tarot reader, or they could be a religious person. And you want to go towards this person, or this person wants to come towards you and make a and they're right now this person they're at a, a crossroad because they're making a decision to take on a new path and things are going to start changing for them or for you it could be you some and for somebody here is worried about commitment somebody's worried about commitment and this person you guys could be spiritually connected as well so you guys could either be spiritually connected or this could be the type of person that's very religious or spiritual you know or very intuitive such as myself but whoever this person is they want to come in and make an offering whether this is you or them okay so let's find out let's start clarifying so i can know what's going on let's get down to the nitty-gritty okay Let's find out about, more about this High Priestess. Please get more information on the High Priestess. Why is this High Priestess here? Please get more information on the High Priestess. Why is this High Priestess here? Please get more information on the High Priestess. Please get more information on the High Priestess. Why is this High Priestess here? Please get more information on the High Priestess. Please get more information on the High Priestess. Why is this high priestess here? Please get more information on the high priestess. 
to get more information on the high priestess. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. Okay. So we have the Three of Cups. The Eight of Cups in reverse. And the Ace of Pentacles in reverse just as well. So this could be somebody that you want to reunite with. Or wants to reunite with you because they want to come back. They want to come back. This person wants to come back. They want to reunite with you. Be, and there's a delay here in this connection getting off the ground. So this is a, the Ace of Pentacles. So there's a delay. There's a delay here on your you guys getting the relationship getting off the ground. This person, you guys could have had a connection and this person ended up walking away. Or you could have walked away. But now somebody wants to reunite with this person. They want to come back, reunite. And make an offering. Okay. Now let's find out about this Knight of Cups. Please get more information on the Knight of Cups. Why is this Knight of Cups here? Please get more information on the Knight of Cups. Why is this Knight of Cups here? Please get more information on the Knight of Cups. Please get more information on the Knight of Cups. Why is this Knight of Cups here? Please get more information on the Knight of Cups. Please get more information on the Knight of Cups. Why is this Knight of Cups here? Please get more information on the Knight of Cups. Okay. So, we have Judgment. And we have the hangman in reverse. And what we have here, the knight of swords. So, whoever this person is, they needed clarity. And now they got their wake up call. This person now has their wake up call. They had their wake up call. Now they want to come back in and have a second chance with this person. They want to come back in fast. They want to come in charging towards you. Now keep in mind that this can go vice versa. It's either you or the other person's energy that I'm picking up on. It doesn't have to be you. And this also applies to men just as well. This is not just a female. This applies to your Aquarius men just as well. Okay? So whoever this person is. They could have they could have just been hanging around having you in limbo or you had this person in limbo for all this time but now you had your wake up call due to the fact that this person had walked away so now you could have had your wake up call and now you want to reunite with the person because now you want a second chance and you want to come towards them fast you want to come charging them fast you want to communicate with this person so let's see here let's find out about the two of wands Please give me more information on the Two of Wands. Please give me more information on the Two of Wands. Why is the Two of Wands here? Please give me more information on the Two of Wands. Please give me more information on the Two of Wands. Please give me more information on the Two of Wands. Why is the Two of Wands here? Please give me more information on the Two of Wands. Please give me more information on the Two of Wands. Why is the Two of Wands here? Please give me more information. Please give me more information on the two of wands. Why is the two of wands here? Please give me more information on the two of wands. Please give me more information on the two of wands. Why is the two of wands here? Okay. So we have the five of wands in reverse. We have the eight of pentacles in reverse. And we have the Three of Pentacles. So, with the Five of Wands in reverse, you're no longer conflicted. You're no longer conflicted. Maybe you was conflicted. Maybe you guys had conflict between the both of you guys. But you're no longer conflicted anymore. Because now you know you had your wake-up call and now you want to come back. Now, 
with the eight of pentacles here the eight of pentacles in reverse here this is this right here could be towards someone that was focused all into their career either they could have been focused their career their money their job they could have been just on schoolwork. Let me look. Let me give. Let me show it to you upright. This is what it looks like. So this could have been somebody here that was focused into their career, their money, their job, or in school, and all their focus was going towards that. And this, they wasn't giving the attention to this person the way they should have been giving giving the per attention to the other person because. Your, cause your, cause all you saw was your money. All you saw was your job. All you saw was your career. That's all you saw, and everything else was pushed aside. But now it's in reverse. So with it being in reverse, it's telling me that now your main focus is not going to be your job or your career or your money because now you want to cooperate with this person. With the three of pentacles here, now you're willing to cooperate and your main your main focus is not going to be your job. Because that could be one of the reasons why the person walked away because you wasn't giving them the attention or the time that they deserve because all your attention and time went towards your job, career, money. Everything went there and they walked away. And the relationship didn't, really didn't make it off the ground. You know what? The way I'm picking this up up so far right now, this is for you guys that actually was dealing with someone, but your relationship never made it off the ground with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, and never made it off the ground. This is for people that was dealing with either you or the other person, and somebody here was mainly focused on their career or school, and... It wasn't a equal give and take. It wasn't it wasn't an equal give and take because somebody wasn't cooperating. Because for the three of pentacles to come upright and then this to come and then the eight of pentacles to be in reverse, that means at one point the three of pentacles was in reverse and the eight of pentacles was upright. You was focused into your career, your money, whatever, and you wasn't cooperating with this person. You wasn't cooperating with this person as far as you know, could have been time, attention, whatever, because all your attention went towards your money or school or your job, career, whatever. You know what I'm trying to say. But now it's upright, and now this is in reverse. So now you want to bake. Now you want to cooperate with this person. Now you want to meet them halfway. Now you want to be on the same page with this person. Now you want to do this. In the past, you wasn't doing it, but now you do. And this goes for people that, like I said, you guys probably wasn't in a relationship at all. You guys were probably just talking, you know, trying to connect and and never made it off the ground. The relationship never had the chance to actually blossom the way it should have and never had that chance. So let's find out about the wheel. Please give me more information on the wheel. Why is this wheel here? Please give me more information. On the wheel, why is this wheel here? Please give me information on the wheel. 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 Please give me information on the wheel, baby. Aquarius, Aquarius, what am I gonna do with you guys? So, we have the five of pentacles in reverse. You want to come out of the cold. You basically want to come out of the doghouse. Let's put it that way. You guys are not communicating, and you want to start communicating with this person again. And you want to come out. Some of you guys could be already communicating with this person right now. And we also have the moon. So, there's some secrets here. And, you know, I'm going to find out what those secrets are. And... We have the Seven of Cups. And we also have the Seven of Cups. Give me one moment, Aquarius. Me Aquariums. There we go. So, 
and you guys could have had options or you guys could have just been confused or you guys could have just had a lot of things on your plate that you had to handle like you know work family kids etc etc you know you guys could have had that so much going on but I want now you guys want to come out of cold but I want to know what this moon is all about Please give me more information on the moon. Why is this moon here? Please give me more information on the moon. Why is this moon here? Please give me more information on the moon. Please give me more information on the moon. Why is this moon here? Please give me more information. Oh, wow. <laughs> and at the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Cups. So this is somebody that you know. You know this person. You know who they are. They're from your past. And this is somebody that you be thinking about, that you reminisce about. And secretly, you want to cut the, I mean, not cut the, you want to communicate with this person. Because we have the Queen of Swords, the Page of Swords, and the Hierophant. Again. So... Secretly, deep inside Aquarius, you guys want to communicate. And you want to speak your truth. You want to speak your truth. Because this person, I mean, it's pretty obvious you guys are not communicating. Or this person walked away or you walked away from this person. You know, vice versa. If you need to flip it, then by all means, go right ahead and flip it. But this person right here walked away from you or they cut you out of their life due to the they wasn't getting you wasn't giving them what they wanted so they walked away so they could have cut you out and but now you want to communicate with this person and you could and either you or them are spying on each other well you could be spying on this person as well and you want to communicate with them truthfully about commitment because you guys are thinking about commitment. You guys want to say the truth about commitment. Or that you want to be in a committed. The committed relationship. Because you, like I said, this relationship never made it off the ground. It never made it off the ground. This is one of those relationships that just didn't make it because you was focused all into your career and money. So now, secretly, you do want to be in a relationship. And... You want to communicate with this person. Not, well, you want to communicate with them and you want to talk about commitment. The big C. Ooh. I know I know you guys are scared. And don't tell me you're not scared because, look, we got the nine of swords right here. You guys are scared because that's the big C word. Commitment. Ooh. And then we got, and look, we got the hair fun right next to it. Commitment. Ooh, boo. I know you guys are scared. That's why you got the Nine of Swords right here. Because you guys are scared. You guys are nervous. Because they want come because you want commitment or they want commitment. But we're gonna find out though, Aquarius, what you guys are scared of. Because I know it's a C word. One, I know it's a C word. That's what you guys are scared of. That's that's an Aquarius thing right there. Well, not all of you guys are scared of commitment, but there's some of you guys out there that are commitment foe. Some Aquarius they tend to be like that because they're loners, so they really don't like being in com in committed relationships. They're kind of hard to tame. But some of you guys don't have a problem being in committed relationship. But whoever this person is, they scared. They scared about being in a committed relationship. But we're going to find out what they scared of. Okay? So let's find out. Please give me more information on the Nine of Swords. Please give me more information on the Nine of Swords. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Please give me more information on the Nine of Swords. Please give me more information on the Nine of Swords. Please give me more information on the Nine of Swords. Please give me more information on the Nine of Swords. Please get more information on the nine of swords. Please get more information on the nine of swords. <laughs> Please get 
<laughs> okay. Aquarius. Please get more information on the Nine of Swords. Please get more information on the Nine of Swords. Please get more information on the Nine of Swords. Please get more information on the Nine of Swords. Okay. I mean, it's going to work out for you if you actually do what is what you want to do here. If you actually do what you're scared of, of, if you actually just turn around and if you actually just face your fears and do what you're supposed to do, you know, and act right. Like I said, if you need to flip it, go right ahead and flip it. It can work out for you. Because we have the Ten of Wands in reverse. Is in reverse. We have... The Five of Swords in reverse. So you guys are releasing all burdens. You guys are releasing all burdens. Or whether you were stressed out, overwhelmed, um, work, life. If everything, you know, if work was too much, if you had a lot of responsibilities, you no longer have those same res responsibilities that you had at one point. You know, if you were just stressed out. You know, whatever. You released any any negative energies, you released it. And with a five of swords in reverse here, you want to make amends with this person. Uh, you want to make amends. You know, you want to let bygones be bygones. And then we have the four of pentacles in reverse. And the four of pentacles in reverse, that's you actually opening up, Aquarius. OMG. And Aquarius is starting to open up. Oh, shit. Damn. That's going to be an interesting conversation. I, you guys need to record that, inf that conversation for me because I have to see it. And Aquarius opening up and talking about their feelings. Woo, Lord. That's something ooh, to be a fly on the wall to see that happen. Either that or they could be, or you guys could be uh, opening up financially. But either way, being that this is a love reading, I'm going to go with emotions, okay? So we got an Aquarius that scared, <laughs> that is scared because they want to open up emotionally. But at the same time, it wouldn't be an Aquarius if they don't juggle that idea in their head. Because we have the two of pentacles here. And this is an Aquarius. Should I really open up? It's like, seriously, do I really have to open up? Can we just go bypass that part and just go straight to the good part? Do I really have to open up to you emotionally? Like, I don't know if I want to do that. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Like, Girl, you asking for a lot here. <laughs> you asking for a lot. First you want me to commit. Now I got to open up emotionally. Girl, your ass is asking for a lot. A lot is like, mm. This girl, I don't know. She's asking for a lot here. But, Aquarius, if you manage to do it, I mean... If you open up and express how you actually feel about this person, you know, about them, we're not asking you to, the person's not asking you to open up about what happened when you was back in high school and everything, when you first liked that girl, and when you was in you know, in kindergarten at the, you know, at, at, the, uh, at the playground, you know, the way you liked her and everything. She, they don't want to know all about that shit. They want to know about how you feel about them. Nobody's asking you to open up about what took place back when you was in high school. We don't need to go that deep. It's not that deep. We just want to know how you feel about that person. That person. Not about Betty Sue or uh, Lucretia or Yolanda or, or, or Amber. We ain't worried about that. We don't care about that. I want to know about me. And if you manage to do it, guess what? We got the six of wands, six of wands here. So 
it can be successful. You can have a successful outcome out of this if you decide to do it. Keep in mind, you have to choose. This is your decision, Aquarius. Nobody can make the decision for you. And I know your ass is scared, but I'm just saying, if you actually do it, you can have a successful outcome. Because we have a six of wands, so it can work out for you. Just saying. Let's find out about the Hierophant. The Big C Commitment. <laughs> let's see. Let's find out about this Hierophant. Please get more information on the hair front. 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 Why is the hair front here? Please get more information on the hair front. Why is this hair front here? Please get more information on the hair front. 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 Please get please get more information on the hair front. Okay, I got you. I got you. I I, I see what you're doing. Okay, I feel you. I feel you, Aquarius. I know. I know. I feel you. Okay, so Still trying to make that decision. Two of Swords. You over here being restless, having restless night. We have the Four of Swords here. This is you reflecting, doing some self-reflecting here. You know, you're having restless nights. Exactly what she's doing right there. You see how she's laying in bed there, trying to, you know, trying to sleep and everything, but her mind keeps wandering. Her mind keeps wandering about the whole entire situation, how, how things went down between the both of you guys. Because you're having a restless night, you're doing some, you, you you know, you're thinking about the whole entire situation. So, and the thing about it is that while you're thinking it, this is what's crossing your mind. I can't pick up these cards. The Four of Cups. You're thinking, you know, if I actually go and make this offer, is she going to reject me? Or he, or will he reject me? If I go right ahead and make this offer to this person, will they reject me? You see? Am I going to end up getting rejected? Because you don't want to get rejected at all, but that's what you're thinking. If I make this offer, will this person reject me? And that's what you're thinking. And I get you, you know, I feel you on that point. You know, nobody likes to be, nobody likes to get rejected. Nobody does. And you want to come in fast towards this person because you actually feel passionate about this person. You have, you're very attracted. You're attracted to this person. You're very passionate towards them. You have passion towards them and you want to come towards them. But you can't help but to think if you come towards them, are they going to reject you? And I get you. I get it. You know, I get it. Let's get some more. Please give me more information on the hair front. Please give me more information on the hair front. Why is the hair front here? Please give me more information on the hair front. Please give me more information on the hair front. Please give me more information on the hair front. Please give me more information on the hair front. Please give me more information on the hair. You want to go. Well, this person wants to come towards. Look at you. It has. We have. We have the page of cups. This is making the offering. Going towards them, and we have the Nine of Cups. So you're manning up. You're manning up because you went from a page to the Knight of Cups. So you manned up. You ain't no king, but you did man up. And you're going toward this person and making the offering. I want to get some more. Please give me more information on the hair font. Please give me more information on this hair font. Please give me more information on the hair front. Please give me more information on the hair front. Please give me more information on the hair front. Damn, Aquarius! Your ass is in love. Please give me more information on the hair front. 
Hey. Oh, shit. Look at that. You came out the bottom of the deck. This is you right here, the King of Swords. But check this out. Aquarius. You, you manned up big time. You went from the page to the knight to the king of cups. Yes, Aquarius, you man up. You actually going out there and extending yourself to this person because you see this person as an empress. Yes, you see this person as being an empress. This person is very confident. They're confident. They're stable. And you want a new beginning. You want expansion. You want growth with this person and you see this person as an empress and you and look look at you look at you look I'm trying to hold this look 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 at this you went from a page to the knight to the king your ass just banned up wow your ass just went right ahead and manned up and you're going to go right ahead fast towards this person because you you feel very passionate about this person. You're not coming across, the Nine of Wands is not coming across as a player. The Nine of Wands is more of the energy, uh, very wanting to come in really fast, feeling very passionate, attracted to you, but not as far as, you know, the player energy because you're actually coming towards this person as the king of cups because at first you was probably offering them chump change as a page and then now you're manning up you went from a you went from a page to the king you manned up and look this is you right here at the bottom of the deck the king of swords so you went from the king of swords being cold distant detached aloof emotionally unavailable where well, you coming across as emotionally unavailable for some of you guys to the king of cups you went from this to this okay so and when the king of cups when he extends himself is because he's in love when you get a king coming towards you it's because this king is already in love the knight the knight he likes, the knight explores. He's not, the knight is not in love. The page is chump change. The page is basically offering you chump change. That's you guys getting to know each other. That's you guys talking and everything. The knight of cups, he, the knight of cups, he tends to explore, you know, he explores, you know, get things going, you know, all that stuff. But the king, when the king comes in, it's because the king is already in love. When the king extends himself, he's in love already with this person who is the empress who you see as an empress already because this person is confident this is a confident person and they know their worth and their value and you see them this way and you want to come towards this person so Aquarius this is a really good ass reading you guys are stepping up Aquarius is stepping up to the plate. You guys manned up. Wow. This is a really good reading. Hopefully, you guys actually follow through. Because, like, again, like I said, it's your decision. It's your decision, not mine. You guys are a grown-ass person with a mind of your own. You guys are the ones that got to be with this person, not me. So you're the one that got to make the decision to communicate with this person and make that offering. And I understand what you feel. You know, you wanting, you scared that this, you're scared and you're nervous. Scared, nervous, restless night that this person might end up rejecting you. And I get it. But nobody wants to be rejected. But from what the cards are saying here, you're going to man up. You're stepping up. Okay, so let's get you a guidance message here. Please give me a guidance message for Aquarius. Please give me a guidance message for Aquarius. Please give me a guidance message for Aquarius. 
Beautiful souls, you inspire and uplift others. Okay, so this is all I have for you guys. I will see you guys again for your weeklies. You guys take care. Be safe. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And uh, stay cool, Aquarius. <laughs>